children are children, regardless of what their migration status is or what might be the migration status of their parents. And um, consequently, uh, children in the context of the migration have the same right to protection as well as support and services that really allow them to thrive and reach their full potential. We need to support governments so that national systems are made accessible to children in the context of migration. For example, the child protection systems, the education systems, the health systems, uh, the, the social support systems. It's, it's very important not to see children in the context of migration as victims or as just uh, vulnerable children that require support but really to be clear on that they have the same agency and the same right to be heard as all other children. We work together, especially in the context of the GCM implementation, uh, governments and stakeholders um, and um, honor the, the agency of children, really provide platforms through which they can be meaningfully heard because only that way do we really also understand more fully their situation and can respond in a meaningful way. When we talk about migrant children or children in the context of migration, this is not just children who are physically moving themselves, but also children who might remain uh, at home when their parents migrate away from work or for work. That can, uh, in some cases, uh, cause situations where there is not adequate care for the child that is, quote unquote, uh, left behind. Children in the context of migration often have very clear views of what they think should happen, what the key issues are. ASEAN in 2019 adopted the ASEAN Declaration on the Rights of Children in the Context of Migration. The government of Thailand held consultations with children affected by migration in Thailand um, on, on the declaration. And um, we hope that is something that could really be replicated in uh, other um, member states of ASEAN. With the, the regional review um, we, we just had here in Asia Pacific of the GCM, we also saw a, a taste of what meaningful child and adolescent and youth participation means. So what was very powerful is that we in plenary had a um, stateless adolescent girl who really uh, shared with all participants her personal experience, her expectation of member states, uh, her recommendations, 